Hi, my name is Brooks Odu. I am the head of academy for in-person education at ATSV. Can you tell us a little about your journey as an ATSV? Well, I first joined ATSV two and a half years ago. I was a G3 student, G31 to be specific. So I studied data structures and algorithms for a year under the first year education at ATSV. And then I got the chance to be a mentor for the next generation of students. And after that, it grew into me being the first remote aid of education for our pilot group. And then I transferred to the in-person education sector. I was an in-person head of education for a year, got promoted to a lead head of education, and now I'm the head of a cadet. What do you like the most about A2S? Tough question. Okay. Because there are a lot of things that I can say. On the top of my mind, I would say it would be the community. A2S brings a lot of intellect and talent at the same place. So at any point, if I want to learn about something, odds are there are a few people that know about that specific subject. So I just have to ask. And at it is we everyone is willing to help. There is that culture of sharing. Uh, so I love that about it is How has it affected you? Initially, when I joined, I just wanted to code. So I just joined for the fun of it, but it grew into it teaching me a lot of life skills. I was not a person who had a schedule, I used to not plan, but yeah, so a lot of things have changed since then. Because with A2ACV and the normal school load, you have to juggle a lot of responsibilities and you have to manage your time. So managing time is the one thing that I learned. If I had to say, I had a stage fright and I used to shake and shiver whenever I had to speak in front of many people. But now I do it at least on a weekly basis or weekly means. What's your opinion on tech and civilization? Well, they're obviously related. The developed world has a far better technology than the underdeveloped world. For me, when I compare the developed world with our continent, and specifically Ethiopia, what we lack is access and education because that's what they had. But the good thing is we can do what took them years in a very short amount of time. These days, people can just go on the internet, they can look up any subject and they can teach themselves that topic, right? It didn't used to be like that. So I think with better access to education, we can better align ourselves to be in the direction of catching up to the developed world. And that's actually what we're trying to do at ETWSV. We provide free access to education and upskill the talent and the potential that we have in Africa to have a better future for the whole continent. Do you have any advice that you'd like to give for your watchers? So we have this quote that goes around at ATSV. You might see it in a couple of ATSV merch. It says, one day or day one. So what it essentially is trying to say is, you have to start. You always have to start to get to somewhere. Even though it seems very unreachable, if you don't start, it's gonna stay that way. Uh, you have to put in the work and the effort until you reach there. Usually, once you start, it gets easier. So my advice would be, start now.